Welcome. We are here for the Christ in All Nations Conference right here at the Century Center in South Bend, Indiana. And I've got a pastor, Pastor Ani. Yes. Thank you for coming. Good to see Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Can you talk to me about why this conference is, say, different from others? Well, this has been a great conference. One, it is non-denominational. Two, it's a healing conference that is, uh, we've not had a thing like this before. We've had great men of God being in our city. But this is one of a kind of conference that uh, is bringing healing to the people. And we're not just one church, but it's about the whole body of Christ receiving the healing and receiving the restoration and the wholeness that God wants us to receive. Beautiful, beautiful. When people mention healing to me, or I mention healing to them, sometimes the guard comes up. Yeah. And they don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Can you explain to me, when you say healing, what kind of healings are taking place at this conference? Spirit, soul, and body. I have been blessed to work in the healthcare industry uh, for the past 25 years as a chaplain. Uh, and in fact, I'm paid to do that because uh, now in the healthcare industry, we believe that healing is not just medicine now. Healing involves your body, healing involves your spirit, and in healing involves your soul. And in this conference, that's what you receive. You receive total healing, wholeness of the whole body. You will be the things that have clocked your mind, the things that have kept you from going forward with God. Is going to be broken, or he's been breaking, and God is healing the people. <laughs> That's, that is awesome to me, for yeah. me to listen to that. I've had a lot of buzz of people bragging about, boasting about Pastor Elaine Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about him. Why is he so special? Well, he's a young man that is anointed, and I'm proud to be associated with him. He's from a Cam Cameroon, All which right. is next to Nigeria, where I am from. So, and uh, But he's also a man that is uh, steep in prayer and praise. So... Uh, that's what makes this uh, him a unique uh, minister of the gospel. Okay. Two questions, sir. Number one, if I'm a churchgoer and my pastor takes care of me once a week at least, sometimes twice a week, why would it benefit me to attend this conference when I'm already going to church? Oh, very, very, I mean, a good question. Um, our church people are here because, I mean, it's, it's not a church thing. And... Uh, we need this kind of refreshing in the body of Christ. As a pastor, as an apostle, I, I do a lot of work in and outside the body of Christ. But when you come to a conference like this, you get revived, you get <laughs> challenged, you get restored, and you're able to go back to your church and impact your church for good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Second question. Second question. Yeah. If I've never been to church, mm -hmm. I've heard this Jesus from afar. Yes. I don't know this Jesus. Why is this conference good for me? You see, some, the gospel, some, some people talked about the gospel, and they feel that the, there is no miracle. That's why you've got to be in a place like this, because it's not about just preaching the word, the dead, and the things that are in the past. We are in the current move of God, and the Spirit of God is moving. And so if you don't know the Lord, you are skeptic. You've never seen a miracle. Come to this kind of conference. <laughs> And your life will never be the same. I just wanted to chat with you. You sold me. I, that's wonderful. God bless you, sir. Blessings. I love it. Thank you. We'll be right back.